so hello everyone we're here to do another ending to the cat lady and i actually played this ending yesterday i recorded it but i realized that the game audio didn't save itself so now i need to play it again because i was out of options so yeah now i'm gonna play it again for you to see what happens if we choose differently so we need to open this box. Oh god. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Fuck. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. It's too late! Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No, no, I can't! You've got to! This is your only chance! I... no. I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. Sometimes I wonder why people have such amazing bad timings to call me. It just... Ah, it's so annoying when someone calls you when you're recording. If you know me, don't re don't call me when I'm recording. But people don't know when I'm recording, so fuck. We're gonna put the mask on ourselves. And I didn't like this at all. Because now Mitzi's gonna die in here. This seems so selfish, like, you're the only one with a gas max mask on and you're just watching people die. It's so selfish. Hello! Oh, don't go! I'll come with you. Okay, yeah, thanks. Um, Crow? Your eye has gotten bigger from the last time we saw it. Ah, the... We're moving to see... The amazing asshole called the Queen of Maggots. I wonder why this lags so much usually. It's really weird. We're at our own house. That is our kitchen. Hello, asshole. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Hmm. There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. Oh yeah! And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Let's take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. 
You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Oh, you shut up. That yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You there are things your that heart are fair. Talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you. The blah, way your neighbors blah, laughed blah. at you for years just for being it's different. life. You did not deserve all that. And yet, it happened. So what? Am I forgetting something? Yeah. Oh, yes. Of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Yeah. Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. My depression. All those feelings I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. I didn't think about it like, why do I need to sacrifice a life? Because I didn't die. So why do I need to take a soul for a soul? Because my soul didn't go away. This is... Like, can someone explain me? Why do we need to now decide? Because we did not die, and usually when we die, we need to kill someone to live again, so... But it doesn't matter, I'm gonna refuse. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. Bitch. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes, and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle. No nope. time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. Bye. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are fun. No. Bye. We can do this. We're gonna go see Adam. My cats are going crazy. Probably because of the cat lady. <laughs> Hello, Adam. You bastard. Mitzi is dead. Are you happy now? You don't have to answer. I'm not sure if you even can, but you got what you wanted. Congratulations. What are you anyway? You're paralyzed, aren't you? How convenient for you. <laughs> I guess if you weren't, you'd be making a brilliant final speech right now. Something movie villains always do. You'd explain why you wished all those people dead. And then we would fight. Good versus evil. The way it always goes. Oh, no. But I don't know what's good and what's evil anymore. Perhaps... I am the evil one here. You're not the evil one. I've done some horrible things. I let my friend die right in front of me. Because... Because I'm scared of dying. Funny, isn't it? Susan Ashworth, a miserable reject who used to fantasize about suicide, chose to live after all. But this is your life we should talk about here, you parasite. You saw it all on your camera. Your own father choking to death. After all those years he spent providing for you. 
You ungrateful pig. Hmm. And Mitzi. She gave up her only chance for revenge and sacrificed her life for me. Do you think I owe it to her to kill you? How clever. Is this how you murder people? That device on your eye. It's a controller, isn't it? I can see why you're known as the Eye of Adam now. Yeah. That evil eye is the only part of you that works. That and your brain, of course. All rotten inside. You have no idea what you've done, do you? You've made people kill themselves using just words on the screen. In a way, you are a very powerful man. That is true. I guess there would be two endings now, but I think that if we would let him live, it would be kind of the same, but we wouldn't kill him and we would be annoyed by ourselves that we didn't revenge for Mitzi. So I'm only going to do this one, that I'm going to kill him. And um, after that I'm going to play this game through, trying to aim for the best ending ever. So, yeah, you're dead, bitch. Your wish shall be granted. First of all, I thought that um, she's gonna get the gun from Mitzi, but I don't think she even knew Mitzi had a gun. Because she hasn't seen the other ending, but I was just wondering. Why didn't they do this with Mitzi? Didn't Susan think about it? Because they had the moment that she had to pursue her not to kill Adam? Bye, Adam! I don't know. What do you think? It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. <clears throat> Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. It was her decision to sacrifice her own life for the sake of mine. A decision that made me realize that people can still care about me, while her life was almost over anyway. She gave up on one thing that was most important to her. Revenge. And she yeah. did it for me. But if I really did become immortal for that short time in my life, wasn't it unnecessary for Mitzi to die before her time? Poisoned like a rat. Well, one thing's for sure. I made that fucker pay for it. I still miss her though. Every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes. And I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. In a way, this ending is good too, because Susan still made friends with people and got away from her depression. Still yet learning to how to smile again, but Mitzi was suffering two weeks on the hospital bed when she didn't die on the poisoning, so I don't know which is better. At least they had the time 
together before the hospital session. I don't know. And now I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. This scene always gets me somehow. I visited one of my friend's grave and it wasn't fun. Not at all. It always hurts so much when you visit her grave. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. <coughs> One day I'll get there. I know I will. Yes, you will. Even if it takes me not nine. I love this song. After I saw the sad ending the first time, I listened to this song so much after it. I, I just love this song. Oh. Um, the third ending I'm going to do is completely different and I hope you still have an interest to see it if you want to. It's I really need to play the whole game again to get it. It's really hard to get, I think. It's super hard to get. Because you cannot have a meltdown when the neighbor is shouting at you. And I did my freaking best last time and she still freaked out. So I think that it, that part is impossible. If you have any tips for it or a video how to complete it, Please tell me, because I think I'm going to have a huge major problem in that part. So, I really hope that I can manage to get the ending that we haven't seen yet, so... I will work my ass off, but it's gonna take time. I hope you will be patient, and I need to play Amnesia again, and Alice Madness Returns, and I will play... Um, downfall from the same game makers as this is. I'm going to play that game. I, I still need to get it though. I, I don't own it yet, so I need to get it. And I want to complete Amnesia or Alice Manus Returns. Probably Amnesia before it, so I won't, I won't have so many games stocked up at the same time. <sighs> I love this game still. I. I love games that have multiple endings because, I don't know, there are many ways, you know, how to complete stuff, so I think it's super, super great that there is different endings, but this was the revenge ending or bad ending or I don't know what are these endings even called I haven't seen names of them but I just invent my own like the last one was a sad ending this is probably a bad ending because Mitsu died like that no. this is not a bad ending this is revenge ending or I don't know 
but thank you guys for watching this ending. Um, it really means me a lot that you are interested to see all the endings too. And I hope you still have energy to see the complete different ending. They say it's a happy one. But yeah. I'll see you in that ending whenever I get to it. I hope I will get to it soon. Bye bye!